Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. First things first, you can see me. It's amazing. I got new lights. I love them. I love them so much. Anyway, um, this video is going to be a quick update for the serial killing Halloween project finished by Halloween 13 thing. Um, that I'm doing as a collab. Uh, I'll link everybody in the description box down below. Um, so I started this last month and it's been a month already. It's crazy. It seems like only last week I was filming the intro for this. And it's hardly surprising that seeing as I feel it was last week that I was filming the intro for this that I haven't actually really used any of the things. So we're just going to go through the list and I'll tell you which of the things I haven't used. I think is the best plan. Um, so the first thing that's on my list is um, an eyeshadow by Urban Decay and I picked the eyeshadow because the eyeshadow is called Bones and I picked it for the... Um, so this project was based around fictional serial killers um, and I picked this for the, bone the film The Bone Collector and it's just this shade here um, it's just a really 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 light taupe colour. It is super light even on my skin. Um, so it's it's too light to use on its own. So I've been using that um, underneath Suspect which is a different eyeshadow by Urban Decay that I'm using within this project. Um, my aim is to hit pan on this shadow and as you can see I do have a dip that going there. Um, so hopefully I will have a pan to show soon. Uh, the next item was a Gradual Tan Mist by James Reed. That's this one here. Um, and I picked that because James Reed, spelled R-I-E-D, is the director or producer or something to do with American Horror Story. Um, and this is my starting point. And as you can see, I've not used any of it. Um, I will hopefully get some use out of this before it gets too cold and my legs go away for the winter. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the next one is uh, this Avon Planet Spa Body Souffle in uh, Chocolate Truffle. And I picked this one because um, of the film Seven, which is based around the Seven Deadly Sins, and Glutton is one of the Seven Deadly Sins. Um, there's not much progress on this. I mean, there's a ton in here, so you wouldn't see amazing progress anyway. But I have used it a little bit. You can see there's a dip here now. Where there wasn't before, it was like right up to the top. Um, so some slight progress on that one. And the next item was this W7 Pumpkin Pie Lipstick. And this one was for the film Sweeney Todd. Because of Love It's Pies. I did go ahead and measure it on the paper last time. So there's, there was my starting point. And that is where I am now. So I have made a good amount of progress on this one. Um, I'm amazed actually at how much progress I have used. I have made. Um, let me go ahead and mark that on the paper now. Um, I'm not a big fan of these lipsticks. I find them too thin. Um, and because they're thin, it's kind of slippy and... Yeah, it's just not my favourite. I prefer something thick and creamy on my lips, so. Um, the next item then was, I picked some sheet masks for any film that has a mask in it. Um, and I picked these three. I haven't used any of them yet, um, but I have done some masking recently. I used up the one that was in the Christmas projects that I'm doing, so... Uh, now that one's gone, I'll focus on these ones and hopefully I'll have one or two done by next time. Um, the next item was a sleek eyeshadow. This is the original 594 palette. And I picked the shade E10, which is a borough in London. And I picked that for the uh, for Jack the Ripper, which I know he's not fictional, but there is a film from hell, stars Johnny Depp, so that's why I picked it. Um, and as you can see, I have been using it. Um, it's not got a dip 
just yet, but I have been using it. Um, so hopefully there'll be a dip next time. Um, the next one was a Too Faced eyeshadow, and it was in the shade Pudding, which is the Joker's nickname, or Harley Quinn's nickname for the Joker, and it's just this shade here in the Too Faced Semi Sweet palette. Um, and as you can see, I've got a huge dip going in there. Hopefully I'll have pan real soon. Um, yeah, really pleased with the progress on that one. What else is on here? Um, Midsummer Mauve was this Model Zone nail polish. Um, my line is there, but that's actually where I am now. It's on my nails today. Um, but it was actually, at the starting point was up in the cap. So it was like, it started about here. Um, so to get to there, I ha you can see some progress. You'll see more next time um, because it'll be like down to here or so. so. Um, Blue Steel, which is another nail polish. This one's an Avon one. Oh, I did swatch these. Hold on. I need to mark, obviously. Obviously I need to mark because I never do this beforehand. Um, so there's my mark there. Um, I haven't used this just yet, but I have, as I said, I have swatched these recently. Um, because I wanted to c collate the nail polishes that I have in projects. So this one here is Midsummer Mauve, and this one here is Blue Steel. It is a kind of textured polish, um, and it's like a silvery blue. Um, I love these Avon uh, metallic textured polishes, they're awesome. Um, and then there was a perfume for the film Perfume. Um, and I chose this. This is the Avon Little Black Dress Eau Fraiche. Um, and that was my starting point and that is my update. So hopefully by next time I'll have this done. Like there's a huge amount of progress. I got about halfway done. So hopefully next time that will be gone and it will be my first item that's gone. Okay, so the next item then was the uh, Suspect Eyeshadow from Urban Decay. This is what I put over the top of that Bones because it is, this, it is a very similar shade. Um, and Bones just gives it that nice it, extra dimension. Um, so the top one is Suspect and the bottom one is Bones. So as you can see, they're very similar. Um, and um, yeah, so Bones just I use on top of my primer and then I put Suspect over the top and I really like to wear it that way. Um, I want to hit pan on this eyeshadow. Um, it's got some use on it. As you can see, it was brand new. Um, no dip or pan yet. So the next item is this Nude Sticks Lick and Chi Lip and Cheek Pencil and it is in the shade Satan. And I picked this for the film I Saw the Devil. And to be honest, I've not used this at all. Um, I was using up another red, which I wasn't using, let's face it. Um, but now that the other red is gone, I might actually choose to use this, maybe, possibly. Um, was my line squiffy last time? A little bit squiffy. But yeah, that is where I am on this now. Oh. Okay, and there's one more thing. Oh, the last thing was um, from the film Frailty. Frailty is a film about rituals and satanic rituals and things. Um, and I picked this. This is the NYX highlighter in Ritualistic. And I wanted to hit pan. And you can't see it there, but you can see it there. I do have a dip which is amazing to me. I've never had a dip on a highlighter ever in my life. So I'm really, really happy about that as well. Um, so although I haven't finished up some things uh, this update, hopefully I'll have some things finished for next update. As I said, I will link everyone who's in this collab down below. Um, and I believe that this was created by Liz, who is in the beauty mix here on YouTube. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in my intro. I'm really, really sorry, Liz, if I didn't. Um, but I'm mentioning you now, so hopefully you'll forgive me. Everyone go and check out her channel. She's amazing. She does project panning, uh, mostly project pan videos. She does some other things as well. Go check her out. And until next time, I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.